Hello football fans and welcome to a historic day here in the ACSA as for the first time ever we are going to see two top 25 teams match up against each other. A couple of 4-0 teams from the Big North Conference featuring the D D Detroit State Pit Bulls coming in number, ranked number 13 in the nation and the Southfield Dalmatians who are ranked number 8 in the nation. It should be a great Big North matchup to cap off the first of multiple top 25 matchups happening throughout the week. So, if you're excited about this football game, a historic top 25 matchup, make sure you smash that like button as well as hit subscribe if you do happen to be brand new to the channel. Now, of all being said, let's go ahead and see some ACSA football live on the John Jay Gaming Channel. So with all that being said, it is time to now get things underway. The Dalmatians starting with the football and trying to throw it to the left hand side. It was Drop trying to get out of bounds. An incompletion for the Dalmatians as it's second and ten now. Hunt going to go up the middle and pick up some more yardage. Making it a third and short now coming up for the Dalmatians. As let's see if the Detroit State defense can get a free and out on this very first drive. Kim will go on once again, hand off to Hunt, who just barely gets to the first down marker, but does just enough to move the chains none of the less. And now we keep this thing rolling. Kinwa going to the right-hand side. It slips for a split second, but is able to recover. Kinwa was able to scramble and not only pick up the first down, but also, you know, get across midfield briefly. As we now have second and 12, couple plays later now, Hunt's going to go upfield for, for an 8-yard gain. A nice run by Ronald Hunt. Let's see if they go to him again on this third and short. No, they go to Kinwa. It's a direct snap. Looks like it was an option play. Kinwa opting to keep it on that one and keeping the chains moving once again. As Southfield is putting together a really good drive as there was a pass, dangerous pass. That goes for an incompletion. And now, second and ten. Kinwa dropping back. All the time in the world, but opting to scramble. He takes an absolute shot. But will be able to get himself back up, though, for a decent gain. So we run it back. Another third down. Can Detroit State finally get these guys off the field? As he releases it across his body, finds Farnerick. Who does get his first catch of the day? And what a time to get that first catch, too. As the Detroit State guy goes off sides, Ronnie Daniels is now third and four. Two plays later, going to Frost. He's just shy of the marker. Fourth down. And Southfield opts to go for the field goal. So a promising drive by Southfield that ends in a field goal. Fonte would go for it on fourth down, but that was not the case. And so, Southfield will enjoy the free and nothing lead, but that might not last long as Zubai gets open downfield, makes a huge catch, and the Pit Bulls are scrambling, getting upfield, and following that with a nice run as well. Now closing in field goal range. Let's see if Detroit State gets more than three points, though. They're thinking about six for sure. As they got a five wide set on this fur and one. Spec on the pass, trying to go to the left hand side, but it's incomplete. Detroit State also settling for a field goal. So on the opening drive for both teams, both settling for field goals. You know, but it is what it is as we are set to get things back going here midway through this first quarter. Getting ready to return this sound field is for their second possession. Although that might not be necessary. He is gone. Like a girl in a country song. Touchdown Dalmatians. And Southfield just like that. Retakes the lead. Now taking a 10 to 3 lead. A special teams touchdown. That now swings momentum in favor of the Dalmatians. As now Detroit State. Let's see how they are going to respond. A first down coming. For the quarterback for the Pit Bulls. As they want to respond quickly. Vaughn going to throw to the right. Get it to Zubai. He likes that guy for sure. Goes to him again. Gets a decent gain. Makes it third and manageable. As that's Nelson Zubai's second catch already. Is now third and four coming up. 
Vaughn in the, in the under center. Gonna go over the middle. He's got Horky. He was able to make a man miss. Gets brought down from behind. But not before crossing the 35-yard line. First down, Pit Bulls. As the drive will continue. Vaughn gonna have to scramble, though. Takes a shot. Takes another shot, but does hold on to the football nonetheless. Fumbles have been a problem for some of these teams in the ACSA these first four weeks of the season. But we haven't seen any turnovers just quite yet. As Detroit State's driving once again. They stalled out last time they were down here. Let's see if that happens again. Third and five. Vaughn going to drop back the pass. And number five wide out set. Going over the middle. It's nearly intercepted. So Detroit State having to settle for another field goal. As Southfield will take over. Ten to six. He's got a man in Banks. Wide butt naked open. Touchdown Southfield. And the Dalmatians early on have taken control of this ball game as we're still only in the first quarter of play and Southfield still hold, now holding a 17-6 lead. It has been a commanding performance so far for Southfield in the inaugural top 25 matchup here in the ACSA. First time we've seen two top 25 teams match up actually. As now let's see how Detroit State can respond. They have been able to move the football, but they have to have settle for field goals, unfortunately. As they're doing a great job moving the ball in between the 20s. But can they get the job done once they cross midfield? As Vaughn takes a huge shack a couple plays later, gets lit up like a Christmas tree. As that does end the first quarter, Detroit State dealing with a third and 12 from the jump to start the second quarter of play. Vaughn going to drop back though, he's facing pressure, going to be able to scramble out of the pocket, can he pick up the first down though? No, no he cannot. Another drive stalling for Detroit State. And Southfield will pick right back up, it's going to take over with the football. As it's now second and 10, thanks to that completion. As they've had another short loss, third and 12, but they had a guy wide open in the middle of their soft zone coverage. And Daniels was able to take advantage of it, pick up the first down. As the Dalmatians are moving well. Now getting it to second and eight. Going across field, getting it to Dante Trail of field. First down for the Dalmatians. Southfield looking to continue to build this lead. They have looked very good in the first half, as I say something good about them. They drop a pass. That also could have been a touchdown if he caught it. But instead, it's for an eight. A couple plays later, going to try to throw a little screen to the left-hand side. He had a blocker, but the Pit Bulls did respond really well. So Southfield did have to settle for another field goal, but Southfield now finds itself up 20-6. to six. As Detroit State's got to get something going, man. Not looking really good on offense. They've had their moments, you know, but just haven't able to get it all together just yet. But that could be that moment, though, as Zubai beats the defense. He has no one left to beat. And Detroit State finally gets their first touchdown of this ball game. And so it now comes back down to a one possession game once again. Things are looking extremely hot right now. Two teams battling it out within the Big North Conference for sure. As they'll go short to Frost, able to get to, to the sideline for eight yards. As the Dalmatians look to continue to add points on the board. They've looked good so far. Ken Law looking around. Going to try to scramble now. He's going to be able to get across midfield and pick up the first down. Just didn't like what he saw on field and decided to try to pick up some yards and was successful in doing so. As now they'll go to Hunt a couple plays later. He gets a, a nice toss to the left-hand side. That goes for a first down. Two plays later, second and six. Ken Law looking, has a man in his face, and he gets hit. It's incomplete, but they're calling at pass interference. So a 15-yard penalty that leads to an automatic first down, but can they take advantage of it? It's third and long now. Ken Law got to make a play. Going to try to scramble for the first down. Can he get there? He fumbles the football. Who's going to recover? And it's Detroit State that falls on it. So Detroit State defense making a critical play to make the, to keep this from going beyond a one possession ball game. But they are deep in their own territory. Starting this drive off on the seven yard line as he almost got sacked at, actually. But does find Zubai just in time. 
It's always get out of the, the comfort of their own goal line, per se. As third down's coming up, Vaughn going to hand off to Clark. Off to the right-hand side. It's some tough running. Multiple Southfield defenders were ready for it. But Clark finds the room needed to pick up the first down. And the drive will continue. Another third down coming up. Vaughn ready to call the snap from Shotgun. Going to hand it off to Clark, but he's blown up. Somehow just getting to the line of scrimmage, but either way, having to punt the ball away once again. Uh, as Southfield does have at least one more chance to add some more points on the board before going into halftime. And they have free timeouts too, if they know how to use them. You know, I know clock management has been a problem for many of the teams in the ACSA for sure. As there's only 20 seconds left, they still haven't used any timeouts yet. Kinwa going to the right-hand side, going to Fernarok, who's done a step out of bounds. He could have picked up a few more yards, but temporarily stops the clock as Hunt tries to move forward. He gets hit. Southfield isn't going to call any timeouts. The clock is going to expire. So Southfield leaves points on the board, and we go into halftime with only a seven-point lead. So welcome back guys to the second half of this ACSA primetime action. The very first time we see two top 25 teams meet, courtesy of this Big North Conference matchup between Detroit State and Southfield. Going to pick things up with the second five, going to the opposite sideline, finds Trail, who gets out of field while crossing midfield. Zach Trail getting his second catch of the ball game that goes for a first down. As the Dalmatians once again are in the... You know, across the 50-yard line for Detroit State. Kinwall going to drop back, throw to the right-hand side. Get it to Farnarok, who does pick up the first down. Keeping that thing rolling. Going to Hunt, establishing that run game. Southfield likes to establish the run for sure. Known as one of the more run-heavy teams in the ACSA. As it's working well on the 23-yard line now. First and 10. Kinwa tossing one over to Farnarik. Who is wide butt naked open and is able to pick up some more yardage. Second and short coming up now. And I would not expect him to run it. As Kinwa does try to pick up the first down with his legs. But he's well short of the marker. So Southfield had to settle for another field goal once again. As it does add to their lead however. It's now a 10 point game. So Detroit State looking to respond. Trying to get this back to a one possession ball game. So or not by throwing over to Zeteri. Who gets to about the 47-yard line. First down for the Pit Bulls. Vaughn will keep it rolling. Trying to get it over the middle. And they just could not connect. He was open. Just couldn't make anything happen on that play. So we'll try again. Second and 10. Trying to throw the right-hand side. A contested ball, actually. That does fall harmlessly to the ground. So another third and long for Detroit State. They had a pretty nice play. But can they get it going? Third and 10. Vaughn looking. Has time in the pocket. He's facing pressure. Going to try to get out of it. He does, but he's well short on the first down marker. Looks like Sean Neal did get hurt on that play, but he'll be back. He's a tough kid. Watches the hockey highlights for sure. As now Southfield will take over at outside about the 15-yard line. As Banks will pick up a first down for him. First and 10 for the Dalmatians. So now, first and ten. Kinwa going to the right-hand side. He takes a massive shot as well. Seven-yard gain on that one. First down for Southfield. As here we go. Second and three once again. Kinwa back in the pocket. He's got a man. And he overthrows him. Oh, my goodness. That was a huge play waiting to happen. That unfortunately was marked incomplete. So now Kenwa going to the left-hand side. Just needs to perk up the first down. And does that get it to Amos for the very first time today? Good for a first down. So the drive continues. Second and six. Going to try to throw over the middle. A quick slant. That does get broken up, though. And now third down is coming on the way. Kenwa dropping back. Facing pressure. Gets it to Frost, though. There might be frost on the field because there's another first down for Southfield because of that. As the drive continues, trying to throw to the right-hand side again. That's incomplete. So Southfield looking pretty good, man. Third and 12 coming up, though. What are they going to do? That's a big play, and it's overthrown. Did not give his man a chance, and they had to punt the football away. 
So Detroit State, they still find themselves down by 10 points here in this ball game as we are approaching the end of this third quarter of play. Vaughn going to drop back the pass. He's got a man and he drops it. Wide open. Only had one man to beat and he drops the football. So instead of a big gain, it's now third and seven. They just try to run it. Very conservative call that, of course, does not work. Do not pick up the first down. So the drop costs them, you know, some potential points as, you know, Detroit State after that stalls out. And so only, you know, getting to the closing moments of the third quarter, Southfield has the ball again. They have the opportunity. They're trying to put the finishing dagger in these guys potentially given how both teams have played in the second half turning into a very defensive battle we are now at the end of the third quarter Southfield going into it leading currently 23 to 13 it's fourth quarter coming all right everybody and welcome to the fourth quarter of play starting with the second and 12 from the 35 yard line going to hunt who's able to break a couple of tackles and gets across the 40 yard line a very good gain who has been a workhorse as Hunt gets his 26 carry of this ball game but this time it's negative results. Southfield does have to punt the ball away but thankfully for them Detroit State actually goes free and out. So now Southfield has the ball once again you know not trying to show free and outs unless something really cool actually happens. Kinwall picks up the first down able to pick up on the quarterback sneak. It's now 2nd and 11, Kinwa dropping back, going to Frost, takes a shot, picks, no, almost picks up the first down, 7 yard gain on that one, good catch by the way, very contested, as Matt Frost has been able to do a little bit of both, getting some receiving yards and some rushing yards as well, 34 total yards for a guy that doesn't see the field a whole lot, as on the next play they try to throw for the first down, it's dropped. Now Detroit State going to try to come back. Six minutes left. Vaughn needs to respond. Going to try to run up field. It gets, looks like, in a sandwich between two defenders. But doesn't look hurt on the play. Will remain on the field. It's now second and five. Going to the left-hand side. He's got a man. He's got Zubai. And he's able, oh, he breaks the tackle. Can he beat the last man? He does. And he is gone. Like a girl in a country song. Touchdown Pit Bulls. What a play. But look at this. They're going to go for two. That would only put them down by two points, but the conversion's no good. So the gamble doesn't work, however. And Detroit State will need another touchdown to take the lead. That could kill them in these ending moments with how close this game has been so far. As now let's see how Southfield responds. A touchdown would likely end this game. We'll see if they can get the job done as they do pick up a first down courtesy of Daniels. As now first and ten. Kenwa going over to Hunt. Another carry for the workhorse. Who takes a shot is but is really starting to establish himself. Another eight yard gain for Hunt. We'll go to him again. Try to pick up the first down and he does. Detroit State smartening up and putting more guys in the box, but it does not matter. As this continue to work out, it's now third and seven. It's a huge sack. Kinwan takes the hit, and Southfield has to punt the ball away. It's a great punt, however. But with less than three minutes left, Detroit State has the opportunity to take the lead for the very first time today as Clark picks up the first down. Keeps the thing rolling. Not much time on the clock, though. Vaughn going to have to scramble and does get stopped well before the first down marker. Detroit State still has all of its timeouts, however. It will be no surprise if they end up using them at some point, or at least they should if I was the coach, but that's just my two cents personally. As now, first and ten. Vaughn dropping back. He's, he has all the time in the world, can make himself a sandwich. And after he makes that sandwich, he decides to scramble up field and only picks up a handful of yards, actually, as Detroit State does end up taking his very first time out. As now, they face third and eight. Vaughn needs to make a play. Vaughn going to go ahead and scramble on the quarterback. Drawn gets across the first down marker. Drive will still continue. First down for the Pit Bulls. As Vaughn will go ahead and do the same thing, but this time he stopped. 
Takes a five-yard gain, but it's short of the marker, and they don't have any more timeouts, so the clock is certainly ticking. Vaughn gonna have to pass it, dropping back, gonna throw it to the right-hand side, gets it to Clark, and picks up the first down. Gotta get to the line of scrimmage quickly, however, as there's only 20 seconds left on the clock. Vaughn dropping back, looking, gonna try to chuck this one deep, he's got a man, and he misses! That was the game-winning touchdown right there, and he overthrows him. So now we're back, 14 seconds left now. Let's see what they do. Vaughn dropping back, gonna try to throw it over the middle, gets it to Zubai, but it's well short of the marker, they're not gonna get in, that's how the game will end. So that will end today's game between the number 13 ranked Detroit State Pitbulls and the eighth ranked Southfield Dalmatians. Southfield does come out on top, winning by a final score of 23-19, improving the 5-0 on the season while Detroit State does suffer its very first loss of the season despite a very spirited comeback. Thank you for enjoying today's ACSA Prime Dot Time action. Tomorrow we will see a trio of games that will feature teams such as Sugarland State, the Brandon Bears, and other teams as well. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.